Hello, welcome to chapter 17, part 6, Bootstrap Form Validation States, brought to you by Ankpro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn how to style the form controls based on the validation states. Right now, let us understand that very clearly. Bootstrap is going to provide us some of the classes and glyphicons for styling the form controls based on the validation state. Below is a list of class as well as the glyphicons to do that work. Okay, the first and foremost uh, pair what we have here is the as success class and the glyph icon, glyph icon OK. What is the advantage of using these two things? Okay, it describes the success validation state. Your as success is a class and this one is a glyph icon. Now, with the help of these two classes as well as Diffycon, what it what is the advantage? The advantage is it describes the success validation state. So in order to understand this very clearly, let me jump to Visual Studio and let me start coding there. Okay, this uh, is a very typical uh, form you can observe here. I'm having a form, and the form is of type it's of layout type layout form horizontal, and in that form horizontal we have a label telling like password and the respective input control can observe here and now I think I hope all of you have filled the online forms okay once you are entering the password when the uh, condition is matched like the entered password is of type is of type the strong password uh, on the form it will display like this is strong password and also the color of the control changes to green now how do I achieve that that can be achieved using this classes that is as success class and the glyphicon now let us start doing that let me start doing that first of all let me push this page to the browser let me see how it renders it renders in this manner like the label and this is the control input type password okay now what I what I want to show you is when I start entering the password when the condition is met okay at the below it will show like the strong password okay and the color of the control changes to green now how do I achieve it it's very simple now first let me add a word like telling like a strong password how do I uh, how do I add that that can be added using this class what is that class help block class it is used to describe the help text so what I want to do now is I want to add a help text telling like the strong password so what I'll do here I'll press enter key then I'll add a span element to that span element I'll add a class called help block okay now I can type here telling like strong password Okay, now let me go back to my browser and let me refresh it. You can observe I'm getting a help desk or help word telling like strong password. But when I start entering this, control color should change to green. How do I achieve that? That can be achieved using this class and glyphicon. That is as success and glyphicon, glyphicon OK. Now how do I do that? It's very simple. Now what I have to do here is I want to first add a class called as success. Okay once this is added now what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll refresh this page you can observe the color of that password and the control label and the control change to green okay now uh, you can observe it is changed to green okay now I want a glyph icon telling like the strong password a check mark or whatever it is now how do I achieve it it's very simple we have to make use of this glyph icon glyph icon okay now what I do is I'll enter span and to that span I have to add a class called glyph icon and glyph icon okay glyph icon okay okay now after that when I go back and refresh this page what I'll, I'm not getting any see I'm getting it below this input control but I want this inside this control itself so how do I do that to do that what I want to do is I want to add a set of classes the classes as feedback and form control static so it is used to add icons to the form controls right now I'm getting this glyph icon outside this control but if I want to make this control sit inside this control itself this glyph icon sit inside this control itself then I have to make use of these classes that is help uh, as feedback and form control static now where do I where should I add that first I in the glyphic in the class where we have added glyph icon and glyph icon okay we have to add like form control feedback and to the due class to the parent class I have to add as feedback 
now when I do this and when I come back and when I refresh the page this control this glyph icon it's now sitting inside this control telling like this is a strong password okay now we achieve this state telling like it describes the success validation state similarly if we want to do like uh, tell like warning validation state and if it is an error state then we have to use this respective classes now let me show that also now what I'll do is I'll just copy this do multiple times and let me show it for okay and this is password now instead of success let me showing show it for warning and what is the glyph icon we have to use for warning glyph icon warning sign now let me go back and let me type like glyph icon warning sign okay now it tells like weak password if the password is weak okay then it will tell like a help block help text telling like it's a weak password now how do I uh, display it when I do F5 you can observe we are getting glyph icon telling like it's a weak password it's of color red you can observe here very clearly okay this is how we'll make use of this uh, as warning and glyph glyph icon warning sign what it describes it describes warning validation state okay this is what the warning right now the password is weak password okay now coming back to the presentation coming back to the visual studio now we have left with other class and the glyph icon that is as error and glyph icon glyph icon remove okay now what these two describes these two describes it describes error validation state so if you want to show error okay when user enters something else other than the required in the sense now what I'll do is uh, instead of password let me set it to age okay now um, for age the type will be a number type will be a number and but if user tries to enter the character then it should show the error state error validation state how we can achieve that here we can achieve that using this error class as error class and the glyph icon uh, to remove okay now when I do this and when I come back when I refresh this page you can observe here user try to enter the character but uh, what we have to do here is the type is number we have to enter only the number only number is possible here but if I try to enter the characters it's not possible that's what it is telling like okay I have to change it here telling like not the strong password like uh, error irregular format okay when I do this and when I come back and refresh you will get telling like if user try to enter the character like T N okay that is not possible but you can enter only like uh, this number this is the correct format but when user tries to enter the alphabet T, -T E N then it should show this irregular format and this is the glyph icon present here you can observe here this is what the advantage of using these classes and glyph icons where you can style the form controls based on the validation state and that's what we are doing we are styling the form like uh, this form control is appearing green color and the glyph icon is check symbol okay this means it's a form uh, success validation but this represents this icon and this color red color represent like weak password okay but coming to this one the maroon color and this glyph icon into mark represent the irregular format or the wrong uh, user has entered the wrong uh, input okay this is what we have styled the forms using these respective classes as well as the glyph icons okay and we also learned some other classes like help block as feedback and form control static and we also saw a beautiful demo and finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel Lang Pro training you can also like our facebook page visiting these urls you can also follow us on twitter for further references you can refer these websites and we are on linkedin too and again last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day